This is Six Sigma, as anchored by Michael Peterson and Samuel Seau. What is Six Sigma? It's a quality control program that has been widely used and recognized by industry. The goal of Six Sigma is to have fewer than 3.4 failures per 1 million opportunities. This probability is even lower than the odd of fatality during air trips which is about 13.3 fatalities per million trips. Therefore, it is seen that there is essentially zero defects within a process. There are rankings within the Six Sigma system that represent a person's knowledge of Six Sigma and how many projects they have worked on. These rankings are modeled after the martial arts system, with master black belts as project leaders, black belts as intermediate team members, and green belts as new team members. Following is the equation for finding the average. This is important in Six Sigma since the average is the value that you aim for when you are creating your product. Also important to Six Sigma is the second equation calculating the standard deviation. The number of standard deviations that can fit within the boundaries set by your process represents six sigma. Gaussian distribution is also known as normal distribution. It represents a probability frequency distribution for a random variable that theoretically takes on a bell shape symmetrical about the mean. The percentage of your data that falls within the standard deviations is shown in the curve. If you can fit 4.5 standard de deviations within your process specifications, then you have obtained a Six Sigma process. This means that 99.997% of your product will fall inside the product tolerance. Statistical Process Control, or SPC, is used to determine if a system has deviated from its normal statistical behavior. Through the use of SPC, discrepancies of a system can be identified earlier and prevent future failures. Six Sigma programs often depend on statistical process controls to provide their data and supportive information. Control charts are, the, are at the basis of statistical process controls methodologies. The use of control charts is to distinguish variations of a system that are random and uncontrollable from those that are controllable and can be corrected. There are two types of control chart. One is centering chart, which the center line is given by average of data samples. The other is dispersion chart, and the center line is given by the frequency distribution from the average. The X-bar chart, also known as the Schwarz chart, is a type of centering chart which plots the average of the data in a range. You can determine if the system is in statistical control simply by looking at the chart. If one of the following criteria is true, then you can say the system is not in statistical control. Any of the points fall outside the control limits. Seven or more consecutive points fall on the same side of the center line. Ten of eleven consecutive points fall on the same side. Or three or more consecutive points fall on the same side and are all located closer to the limit than the center line. Let's do an example to see if you paid attention. The question is, by looking at this chart, can you tell if this is in statistical control or not? Oh, by the way, UNPL represents upper natural process limit and LNPL represents lower natural process limit. The answer to this is no. Three consecutive points indicated by the arrows are on the same side and are closer to the limit than the center line. Therefore, the process is not in statistical control.